If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults, else he would not have mentioned these alone. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things, which are beyond the power or will. Man is not worried by real problems so much, as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. He who laughs at himself, never runs out of things to laugh at. It is impossible for a man, to learn what he thinks he already knows. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. Other people's views and troubles can be contagious. Don't sabotage yourself by unwittingly adopting negative, unproductive attitudes through your associations with others. Only the educated are free. You are a little soul, carrying around a corpse. No man is free, who is not master of himself. I laugh at those who think they can damage me. They do not know who I am, they do not know what I think, they cannot even touch the things which are really mine and with which I live. First learn the meaning of what you say, and then speak. To accuse others for one's own misfortune is a sign of one of education. To accuse oneself shows that one's education has begun. To accuse neither oneself nor others shows that one's education is complete. Nature hath given men one tongue but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak.